This is a video that was filmed back in the summer of 2021. Uh, me and Ollie Evans, who is an amazing photographer, a really good friend of mine, we went to North Devon, Braunton, Ilfracombe, Croyd kind of area and just spent a week chilling out and making photos. It was the first time I'd seen him in probably about three years, so it was really epic to catch up. This is a long overdue video, so apologies to everyone for that who was involved and has been waiting to see it. But yeah, here it is. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, it means a lot to me. The photos in it are absolutely some of the favorites I've ever made. And it is the beginning of a long term project that we're going to be working on. Eventually we'll be releasing a photo book and we're going to be going back every summer for the foreseeable future and making more photos. So yeah, it's going to be a, a fun experience really. So I hope you guys do enjoy because we definitely enjoyed making it and yeah, right on. I don't like loading Kodak film in this because no. their one isn't clear at all. So I always end up. Oh, yeah, you have to see, don't you? Yeah. I have a counter. Ah, lucky. I mean, I only have to count for the first one. Yeah. But. Oh, yeah. One second. Okay. That's possible to get off. Sounds like a flash on my uh, on my cannon. Yeah, I had to sleep with that last night. Oh.
to make a new video yeah sweet sweet <laughs> Shooting film doesn't always go to plan and Ollie's roll of Lomography 400 demonstrated that perfectly on this trip. It was originally a colour film and because it was expired, the tonal qualities in the colour casts had gone completely crazy over the period where the chemicals were just degrading. So what Ollie's done is changed photos like these ones to black and white to rectify the problem.
shop. After I left Devon, Ollie, Amber and his family stayed around for a week and he made a few more images, only a couple more, but here they are for you guys to enjoy. And while you're looking at these, I'm going to explain how I was feeling about the start of this trip. Obviously, everyone's been in lockdown, or everyone had been in lockdown for two years effectively before me and Ollie decided to meet up in Devon and make some photos. And for me, this was a really exciting prospect. I hadn't left Cornwall since I'd moved back pretty much for a long enough period of time to make some new work. Yeah, it was a really exciting idea for me, having new locations, you know, more ideas, more ways to be creative, especially when working with Ollie, who I've worked with for years now. Um, yeah, I'm really stoked with how it all went. This is one of my favorite images from the trip. It's maybe not the one that you would expect, but for me it has a really special link to one of my favorite photographers, Joel Sternfeld. I've got his American Prospect book and it's one of my prized possessions. I completely adore the work in it. And for me, this, this photo of the gate just connects to that book in a certain way that speaks to me and it might not speak to you you might not value it anywhere near as much as i do you might think that's just a photo of a rusty gate and that's fair enough i think photography is all about photographing things as you see them and how you want to see them so yeah that's why this image is special to me another one that's special to me obviously is this one that i shot on my six by six of ollie and amber Ollie being my best mate, you know, it's so sick to see him moving into a new chapter of his life with Amber and for me being able to make photographs of that and, you know, I gifted them a print after we got back from the trip and I got my scans back. So it was just a really special image for all of us and it's a nice memory to have for those guys. So for that, I'm grateful for where I'm at and I'm able to do these things for people and that's what photography is for me. You know, like I said, it's photographing things how you want to see them, but it's also telling a story about the situation that you were in. Anyway, that is enough of me rambling on. Thank you very much for watching this video. It is long overdue and stay tuned for lots more work. There's loads of things in the pipeline at the moment for me and for Ollie. So go check him out. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. Peace.